た<笑><笑>We know that it will. We're super excited. We're going to take y'all with us. We're going to back it in the lake down here. It is right behind us. Look at the tranquility of that water. We cannot wait to see if it's going to float. We do have some rain gear in case it rains on us. But I tell you what, let's back this boat in the water. Let's see if it floats. Let's see if it cranks. Let's see if it goes. We'll catch you on the lake. All right, guys, we made it up here to a beautiful Cherokee Dam right behind us here. It is a beautiful place. The water's down just a little bit. It fell a flood on us on our way up here. We got a little bit wet. We're testing it out. So far, so good. We want to get the trolling motor in the water and see if we can catch a few fish, but maybe our batteries are dead. We don't know. We charged them up. They've been charging all night for two or three days. It just seems like it just tuckered out there really quick when I hit the when I hit the motor, but we'll rig some cables up. I don't know, but we're gonna fish. We're gonna fish. Our boat is floating. CC run over a few logs, so we may have another hole. I don't know, but this boat is absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Alrighty guys, we did say 
in this video, we would reveal the price that we gave for this boat. And at the Copart lot, at the auction, the high bid on this boat, we were gonna get it, honestly, we were playing it up. We were gonna get it for right around 10,000. And then here comes Missouri. Comes in here, just bidding on our boat. So we run the bid up to 11,800 at Copart. Uh, this one, uh, we didn't have to go through the broker. So it only cost us $12,808 out the door. And we went and picked it up ourselves. So you just can't beat that. We'll do a little bit of fishing here and then we'll give you some more prices here in just a minute. So we got our trolling motor from a private buyer on the marketplace on Facebook. We went to Knoxville to get that. That was $375. The plug to switch it out to fit our boat cost an extra $30. Bucks. So about $405, we've got a Minkota Edge 70 pound thrust 24 volt trolling motor. Just needs a good battery, right? Just needs a good battery. We found that out today.
All righty, guys. We did make it back to the dock. We are in one piece. CC, he was out hot rodding it. Man, showboating out on this thing. It's absolutely a powerhouse. That big 115 horsepower engine is a lot for this boat with that stainless steel prop. We did only get it up to about 42, 43. The wind was blowing really hard. We could not see the sticks, but we did want to let y'all know the full price of what we had in this thing. We did buy a set of brand new aluminum alloy wheels. Those wheels were $244.18. The tires were $139.09. We did buy some, some used seats. The actual seats, we found the previous owner. We bought the seats off the Facebook Marketplace for $150. We did buy some brand new LED taillights from Harbor Freight to go on the trailer. That was another $40. The grand total of this boat was $13,788. So this boat was worth roughly $25,000. And we've got 13,788 in it. We don't count the time. We don't count the labor because we absolutely love doing this stuff. It is a lot of fun. This is a very nice boat for $13,700 versus $25,000. That's a lot. We do have confidence in our weld. We're about to step back here to the back of the boat. We're gonna pull the plug. I can bet you there's gonna be some water. It has rained on us for the past two or three hours. We didn't catch a lot of fish, but we caught a few fish. Let's step back here and see how much water comes out right now. So that is about a quarter water that come out of the boat. We picked a bad day to really check our weld out because basically it rained on us all day long. And a quart of water in the boat when it's raining all day long it's probably normal. Our bilge never came on, not one single time. We did talk to the previous owner and he did say that every 20 minutes, the bilge would have to dump out. So I think we're in, we're in really good shape. We're not taking on water. We were out right at four hours. So three fish in four hours, not too good, but a beautiful day, a beautiful boat. I do think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Don't forget, to follow us on Instagram at Real Orange Wires. We always post there before YouTube. If you like this video and you like this content, drop us a like. Leave us a comment down below. Until next time, we're out.